If you are concerned about an older person's safety, there are different ways to report and respond to situations that can help the person in need and prevent further abuse. If you are worried about an older person's safety, voice your concern, talk with the person, and offer your support. If the person says, I'm okay, don't press. Respect their wishes, but stay connected and supportive. You can always seek advice from a professional you know and trust like a care provider or social worker, or reach out to an elder abuse prevention organization. If you can't reach the person you are worried about, you can call the police and request a wellness check to make sure they are okay. Officers will assess the situation, speak to the older adult, inform them of their rights, address safety concerns, and connect them to community support services. If the person you are worried about has capacity issues, Contact agencies in your community, especially if they are at risk of serious financial or personal harm. You can call Ontario 211 to find programs and services in your community. Ask the court to appoint a guardian to make financial and personal care decisions. Have a formal capacity assessment done to determine the person's ability to make care and financial decisions. Contact the Office of the Public Guardian and Trustee they may investigate if no alternative solution can be found. If someone you know is at imminent risk of harm, call the police immediately. Law enforcement and victim services can intervene and support victims of abuse. You can also report elder abuse anonymously by calling Senior Crime Stoppers. Trust your instincts. You don't have to prove it to report it. In Ontario, it is mandatory to report abuse that takes place in a long-term care or retirement home. Whether you are a staff member, a volunteer, or a visitor, if you notice something, you must report it directly to the authorities. If you are an older person experiencing abuse or neglect, it's okay to ask for help. Confide in someone you know and trust, a friend, a family member, a care provider, or someone you know in the community they can help you figure out what to do next. We all have a role to play in keeping each other safe. To learn more, visit Elder Abuse Prevention Ontario online.